Well, 2021 was a record-breaking year for homicides in Philadelphia, and sadly, 2022 is keeping pace as the city has already hit its 100th murder. And only on Fox 29, our Kelly Rule talked to the family of the victim of the 100th murder. She's live in Spring Garden. Kelly. Yeah, Don, family members identified this victim to us as 28-year-old Brahim Barr. They tell me he was engaged, a father of three, and was simply trying to go to work at the time. Police sources tell me tonight they believe the motive in this case was robbery. Why Unnecessary. Did you do it? Like, Why would you do that to him? He was only 28. Lorraine Barr comforts the fiance of her nephew, Brahim Barr. The family identified him as the 28 year old man shot and killed in West Philadelphia Thursday night, a soon to be husband and father of three studying to be a nurse. He just wanted to take care of people. Brahim loved people. Hard working, bothers nobody, will give you the shirt off of his back, will do anything for his family. He wouldn't hurt a soul. Philadelphia police say the shooting happened just before 11 p.m. on North 53rd Street near Arch Street. Barr's family says he worked three jobs and was simply walking to his car to go to work. Police sources tell Fox 29 they believe the motive was robbery, and sources believe the shooter took Barr's firearm that he legally owned, his holster empty when officers got to the scene. Neighbors heard the chaos. Three secession shots, then uh, a hesitation and then three more. It's unfortunate. He's not just going to be another homicide. This family would like any answers that we can possibly get to put those away who did this to him because he did not deserve it. Barr's death marks the 100th homicide in 2022 in Philadelphia following a historically deadly 2021 that saw more than 560 murders. On Twitter, Commissioner Danielle Outlaw wrote in part, quote, PPD will continue to utilize every resource we have to stem this tide of violence and will not rest until we bring to justice those who seek to cause harm. Show some remorse. Turn yourself in. He didn't deserve this. Now, Barr's family members tell me in just the past two years, he lost both of his parents. His father passed away not even six months ago, so they are absolutely devastated. Police say they are still working on collecting video from the scene. They have not made any arrests, but Don, of course, anybody with information is asked to come forward. Mm, so sad. All right, Kelly, thank you. And today